Web3 is venturing into new territory. People today are compelled by a strong desire to use digital products. It's tempting to compare the amount of enthusiasm, talent, and resources being invested in Web3 to the early days of the internet. The parallels are clear for those of us who have spent enough time in Silicon Valley to remember. This time, though, the pace of expansion appears to be exponentially higher. This is data currently being used by Web3 commentators to argue that Web3 is the Internet's future and that Web2 will soon be obsolete. As a result, one could argue that today's NFT developments have the potential to be revolutionary. But first, hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Crypto Now, and we're back with another incredible video. So please subscribe to the channel and enable alerts to be notified of each new upload. You're not going to persuade the average American customer to give up TikTok in order to assist in the ushering of a new era of decentralization, boost the creative economy, or combat inflation. They are unconcerned. What matters to the ordinary internet user is how they look and promote themselves on social media. That's where the bridge is. NFTs will be the key to this bridge's success. So without further ado, let's talk about five NFT trends that will push users to the Web3. Sidechains. NFT pricing will decrease as sidechains like Polygon become more common developers will be able to add greater interactivity and composability into NFTs with near-zero gas expenses, making them intrinsically more social. Imagine a blockchain version of Pokemon Go, where each Pokemon is a non-fungible token or NFT that can be traded or sold. Every Pokemon you obtain has its own set of characteristics, and the location-based achievements you unlock have an impact on how it evolves. The powers of a Pokemon are modified on-chain when it levels up. You gain crypto tokens as you move through the game, which has worth outside of the game. So it's a lot of fun indeed. NFT Verification On the blockchain, NFTs are tracked and confirmed. Because each NFT has its own transaction hash, it's non-replicable. All transactional data is collected and stored in blocks, eventually forming a blockchain. This data is kept indefinitely and is open to public inspection and verification. Skeptics point out that NFTs are pointless because the underlying files can be saved with a right-click. This is only a short-term issue. NFT verification will be implemented on all major social sites in the near future, allowing you to connect your wallets and display your validated NFTs on your profile. Along with this, fingerprinting technology will allow platforms to quickly discover and remove stolen files. The game changes totally once TikTok members can display and use their unique validated NFTs in their posts because the social worth of purchasing and broadcasting NFTs skyrockets. Music. Every trend needs a groove, and that's where music steps in. The NFT craze of 2021 was mostly about visual art, but music is the next frontier, and one that I feel will be far bigger in the end. The emotions that drive a collector's behavior are the same whether they're collecting physical art or NFTs. They want to show one's artistic interests to peers, the desire to display one's identity, whether individual or group, and in certain situations, the desire to make a profit. Despite the speculative frenzy that accompanied the early NFT boom, I believe that self-expression and identity are the more fundamental drives of art accumulation. Music is one of the most common ways for people to express their likes and dislikes. TikTok began as a music video app, and music tracks are still a large part of the videos people share on the network. However, today's music is widely available. The same tracks are available to everyone. Imagine your favorite musician releasing a one-of-a-kind 60-second music track with the limited number of NFTs accessible. 
You buy one and produce a great TikTok video with it. It spreads like wildfire. Suddenly, millions of people want to use that song to make their own TikTok videos. However, there are only a hundred copies available. You receive daily bids from people who want to buy your song, and you may choose whether to flip it or keep it for yourself. We don't know about you, but that sounds like so much fun to us. Good day, mate. We've made it halfway through our list, and we sincerely hope you've enjoyed it thus far. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and turn on notifications to be notified of new uploads. What do you think of these trends so far? Let us know your opinion in the comments below. Let's move forward with the video. Wearables and fashion. The peak of Web 2 was a point of fashion and design. Many people of that generation would spend tons of money on fashion. The world's thirst for nice things to wear was insatiable. From fancy jeans, stilettos, sunglasses, and handbags, it was all so surreal. Wearables are set to usher in a new era of huge digital goods expenditure, which social media users will employ to groom their digital selves. Although most existing wearables activity in the NFT sector is connected to games and avatars, AR filters will be the killer use that will let big audiences shift into the metaverse. Consider Kim Kardashian launching a line of personalized AR filters, facelifts, lip fillers, makeup, hair, clothes, and jewelry, each one different. If you buy one, you can wear it in your TikTok videos for as long as you like, and then sell it when you're done. Kim, please add me to your whitelist. Dynamic avatars. Okay, we understand you can't comprehend why someone would alter their profile picture to a horrible monkey for the life of you. But see, you can't bring yourself to use it as your profile picture, can you? Some people can't even use a photo of themselves as a profile picture. Instead, they employ avatar generators to generate drawings and other images. Why do they replace a professional headshot with a cartoon image created by an algorithm that only slightly resembles them? It is straightforward and enjoyable. It allows them to express an aspect of themselves that would have been difficult to capture in a snapshot. But do you ever get the feeling that your profile pic gets stale sometimes? Because it's too static? Well, we do. NFT avatars will gain dynamism, customization, and mobility. Imagine taking a selfie and having an AI create a one-of-a-kind, personalized 3D avatar that resembles your ideal self. Bitmoji style, but better. You can change the character's attitude, stances, dress, and accessories by typing. You can also make it dance and say things in your own voice. Consider how much easier it would be to create entertaining TikTok videos that make you feel good about yourself. You may devote more time to the message you're attempting to portray rather than honing your acting and filmmaking talents. Dynamic avatars will allow for the democratization of self-expression on social media, giving a far bigger audience to the producers of a voice. When Facebook initially launched, it was a bit of a gimmick, but it was entertaining. You'd be reminded of your genuine friends' birthdays, see their latest corny profile images, and poke them every few days or whenever you check the site. Then came the feed, mobile phones and algorithms, Instagram models, lattes, and flawlessly filtered lives. And somewhere along the road, the fun gave way to a kind of social enslavement. We keep scrolling through posts from individuals we hardly know that make us sad, and we keep responding with nasty things. Surely, this isn't the end of the story. You could sense the collective eye roll when Zuckerberg revealed his meta vision. We wanted to scream because he had already damaged our lives with social media, and now he was going to remove our last vestiges of physical connection and turn us into matrix vegetables. But whatever the advantages and disadvantages, we are already on our way to the metaverse. Our lives are becoming increasingly virtual. Web3 allows for a more immersive experience in that virtual world, one that perhaps will feel a little less hollow and more human.
we look forward to a future in which NFTs, along with all Web3's other promises, assist us in creating a virtual environment in which human interaction is once again enjoyable. In a socially and virtually active world, social media is one of the most revolutionary platforms that all of us are involved with currently and definitely into the future. Do you think you've taken part in some of the trends above without realizing that they're actually NFT trends? Have you been participating in TikTok trends? Let us know in the comments below. This concludes today's video. Please subscribe to the channel and enable alerts to be notified of new uploads. This is Crypto Now, and we'll see you in our next video.